guys welcome back to my channel welcome back once again so today i'll be taking you guys to spice farm you guys already know zanzibar is also known as spice island so everything about the spices good spices are being made in different farms so i am in one of the locations but this location is one of the biggest in zanzibar so come along with me guys while i take you to the farm This is one of the biggest farms in town. It's called the Shabuta. So I'm today I'm not going to be, to be a guide actually. We have a specialist spice guide mm -hmm. who's going to take you around. Okay. So all difficult questions, he's here. Okay. Don't worry. So I, what's your name? <laughs> okay, so by the name of my name is Abdul. Abdul. My name is Abdul. I'm going to be a guide today on a spice tour. I'm going to take a little run on the farm. Okay. So before start our tour today, our tour is going to consist of about four parties. The first one we will start to run on the farm to look at different spices like okay. nutmeg, cardamom, mm -hmm. vanilla, turmeric, ginger and others. We have so many spices here, but uh, remember Darcy, we are very famous for growing the spice. Okay. But uh, some of the spice doesn't grow in Zanzibar, like saffron, cumin and coriander. And the coriander. What? Cumin, saffron, and the coriander. Okay. This is because, according to our climate, we are in the tropical area here, okay. and uh, these spices need a, a cold Good soil. Yeah, okay. it needs a cold soil. We don't have any enough because it's too hot here. Okay. And uh, the second part is well, we will see someone climbing the coconut tree, which is called the Mr. Butterfly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a special man will climb in the coconut tree and it is singing a beautiful song, mm -hmm. which is called the Jumbo Jumbo, a the Jumbo Bone. Uh -huh. And the third party will be testing the fruits like a red banana, tangerine, mandarin. So we will be testing the fruits. And the last party will finalize to the spice shop to buy some spice. Okay. Are we together? Okay. Are, Are we going to be having good prices for the spice? Yes, never mind. Alright. <laughs> So, are you ready to start the tour? Yes, we are. Uh, you got assistance. Hello. Hi. But before Hi. going to start our tour, yeah. this man over here is going to be my assistant. Okay. The man is an artist. Okay. He's going to make a different things for you as a gift, like a bracelet, rings, crown, tie, and others. End of our tour, he's going to nominate you to be queen and the king of the spice today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, collection <laughs> basket. Put in the leaves, we go. <laughs> Uh, collection. Mm -hmm. That one is collection oh, basket. Oh, okay. Collection container. What we are going to see on the way. Okay. You can just put inside at the moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are going to see different kind of a spice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. Is it just for me? Or yeah, you? just for you. What okay. is that? Okay. Come on. We start under this with the big one over here. It's familiar. This smell is familiar, but I can't place it. Do you, know, do you know what it is? Soon? What is this? Do you cook a lot? Yeah. Well, which kind of a spice do you use a lot in your kitchen? I use ginger, I use garlic, I use turmeric, I use um, nutmeg. Nutmeg. I use um, um I use a lot of spice. You use a lot of spice. Yeah. So how do you buy the nutmeg in, in your home? Uh, we we'll go to the lo the market, local market. Yeah. We we'll buy the seed. The seed, and then we buy the powder. Uh, you can buy the powder, you can buy the seed, but I prefer to buy the seed. Yeah, the so, seed. Yeah, and you then you grind. Yes, you grind. But actually, in Zanzibar over here, many of us we buy the fresh spice. Okay. So if you keep your eyes in, on this tree here, it is too big, and probably the tree to produce the fruit like this one. This one is still fresh now. Okay. So if you open the fruit inside, it has a two kind of a spice. Okay. Okay, a black seed which you recover with the red fibers and uh, probably we the red one other spice and we the black one other spice but the black one is more useful than red one because okay. the red one we don't use much for cooking we use much for cosmetics okay. like a perfume soap oil and others wow mm -hmm. wow yeah wow. so the spice is called the nutmeg in english this yeah this is how nutmeg it is looks like while it is fresh wow this one is still fresh now so, and probably if you go on the market to buy nutmeg, you doesn't buy with a red one like this. Mm -mm. You probably buy the nuts while it is dried at some time, you can just buy the powder. But how we do, we remove the red fibers first. The red one, this one in English, it's called the red mess. We remove the red fiber first. After you remove the, the red one, and then you take a nut. 
we dried it first on the sun after dried it and then we smashing after that we use for cooking but the red one this one we don't use much for cooking but sometimes we can use for flavoring the, the food but apart from, from from the cooking we also use this one for the cosmetics according the strong smell it is i can keep this one the fibers and according the the fibers the strong smell it is we check these fibers and then we mix with the with the, with the ylang ylang flowers have you heard about ylang ylang mm -mm. So there are tree which called the ylang ylang tree is originated from Madagascar and according the beautiful smell uh, the, according the, the flower it produce and, uh, that, and according the beautiful smell it is it takes the ylang ylang flowers and then it mix with the red one after that we made a perfume which are very famous which called the Zanzibar Chanel number no. zero perfume wow. I will show you later <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but to grow the tree just takes only five years to grow and it produces two times per year but this one is too old enough it's about a 65. 65 years? Yes, it's about a 55 years. 65 years. So it doesn't produce? Still it produce. Mm -hmm. But now it's end of the season. Okay. Mm -hmm. Citrus. We have a more than five kind of a citrusy tree. Okay. We have a lime. We have a lemon, lemon tangerine, mandarin, orange, yeah. severe orange, and others. But this one is orange. Orangey tree. And you can see the fruit on top over here. Wow. A little bit young. But if you keep your eyes on top of a day, if you have a strong eyes like mine, you can see the the the, the, the grows here, yeah, the biggest. Mm -hmm. And uh, according to the climate in Zanzibar here, our orange doesn't grow in orange color, just in the green color and the yellow. And however the color it is, both it has the same taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Akuna matata. Sure. What is this one? A grape? Of course, it's grapefruit. But I have two species of bees. We have a we have the pomelo and a grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Probably always pomelo is white color inside and the grapefruit is rose color inside. But the, but the taste is the same. Mm -hmm. And they are very good for the eye. Alright, we have this fruit over here, which is from this tree. For the outside it looks like a lychee. Mm -hmm. Do you know lychee? Do you know lychee? So, moment. If you, you keep your eyes over there, you can see the red fruit over there. According to the situation now, the fruit we don't use anymore for the cosmetics, we use for the spice. So, if we open inside, it has a red seed. We we'll take the red seed and then we we'll draw it in the sun. After dry it and then we we'll smash it. After smashing, we we'll get a brown uh, uh, red powders. Okay. And then we we'll take a coriander and a cumin. We we'll smash it and then we mix together. After that, we we'll made a masala which is called the tandoori masala. Okay. Have you heard about tandoori masala? No, I've heard of masala. Yeah, masala. But remember that if you take about masala, masala is not a one spice. Masala is a combination of a spice. Of spices. Yeah, so depending on which kind of masala you want. Okay. But the tandoori masala, uh, most of the time we use much for the for the chicken, sometimes for meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if yeah, but if you open inside this one, you can see it's like this, and it was used, it was it was used for the cosmetics. How do we use? Instagram. Mm -hmm. Okay, take picture of Instagram. Okay, squeeze. If you we probably squeeze like that, and if you have the squeeze, it has a red color. Mm -hmm. Then you use for the lips. Oh, yeah. that's why. Yeah. Yeah. So not, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's why the fruit it's called yeah. the mm -hmm. lipstick fruit. India. But the real name of this fruit it's called the anato. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And sometimes you can use for the nail. Can this be also used for hyena drawing? Just for drawing, no. Okay. Just for coloring okay. the food and, the, and the, for the for the for the lips. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now we don't use any more for the lips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have this food here. Do 
So actually, this kind of a tree we use everything. Everything from this tree we use. We use the leaf, bark, and the root as well. The leaf it smells like a cloth, but the, the bark is smelling like a seed. Mm. Wow. The, the bark is smelling like seed. Okay. But the, the root of this tree happened. The root of this tree is smelling like a like a mango. And we also use the root of this tree. The root. And probably the root it is smell like a mink as yeah. a, like a tiger bar, tiger bar. Mm. Yeah, like a vape. Yeah. Yeah, those, uh, yeah. Massage yeah. Yes. Probably this tree we use everything. We use leaf, bark and roots. And this is the reason it must make this kind of a tree to form the other queen of the spice. What? Queen of the spice. We call it other queen of the spice. Okay. According to the three different smell it is. But the real name of this tree is called the cinnamon. Yeah, this is how cinnamon it looks. And remember that cinnamon it is from the bark. If you smell the bark, it, ha it has a cinnamon smell. Yeah. But it probably many people in the world it doesn't use the bark like this. They use the rolling one, the cinnamon stick. Yeah. But probably we have two ways to peel in the bark from the tree. Yeah, so we probably we have two ways to peel in the bark from the tree. The first one like this and the second one by rolling. If you peel by rolling after dry, it's going to be rolled itself. Then you call it cinnamon stick. But if you need the cinnamon powder, you can just take the, this one here. You can take the, the cinnamon stick. After that, you grind. After grinding, then you get the powder. Then you use the cooking. But apart from that, we use the leaf. The leaf we use much for the oil, and sometimes we made a tea, which is called the green tea. We made the oil from the cinnamon. We take a leaf while it is fresh like this, and then you mix with the coconut milk. After that, you boil it together. Then you make food cooking oil, which is very good for the skin and the mass and for the massage and the muscular pain. And apart from that, we use the roots. The root actually we don't use for cooking, and we use for medicine only. According to the smell, it is it is smelling like a like a man cloth, either like eucalyptus. So sometimes, if you are suffer from the flu. You can take a cinnamon root after that, you can boil it in the water. After boiling in the water, then you can use inhalation. You inhale? Yes, you inhale. Yes. Apuna Matata. Any questions so far? No. If you keep your eyes there, you can see the spiced chicken. <laughs> yeah. We call them spiced chicken, they live in the spice farm, they eat the spice. If you want to cook them, they already spice inside. <laughs> <laughs> What you call caramel? Are you from South Africa? Nigeria. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But yeah, actually, we have a two kind of caramel plants. We have a male plant and a female plant. This one is male one. Yeah. Yeah. Later, we will see the female one. Yeah. Uh, weed. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? So it's allowed to grow here. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah, no. <laughs> but for Nigeria, <laughs> not illegal now. No. It looks like a Bob Marley. <laughs> but now it's not that not the end of it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> but now it's like this. <laughs> Which leaf is this? Yeah, this one is the plant it's called the iron plant. Because you know that's in the farm here. Many people who work on the farm, they work with the different stuff like a knife, machete and the others. Sometimes if you get a small cut mm -hmm. by knife. Mm -hmm. But if you get a big injury, you have to go on a hospital. But if you get a small cut, how do you do? We just take the juice from the plant and then I put it in the wound. After that we squeeze. Yes, then it stops in the blood. So, how we do? We just do like this. Mm -hmm. And it's bleeding. Yeah. 
So then you'll take a juice after that I'll put in the wound. So let me cut him to show you. No, no, no problem. <laughs> 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 and then we squeeze like this. It looks like a cream, like a salt. Mm -hmm. And the blood will just see. Yeah. Now, are you doing the this time? Are you doing this time? And then it, and it, okay. is, it is sticky. And then you can use the, the, the leaf to, to recover the place, mm. like a plaster. Mm. Mm. Wow. Hi. Very, we didn't use for the soup, just for the tea and the oil. We made the oil, which is very good for the mm. for the for the skin and for the for against small skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lemongrass. Lemongrass, guys. But the season now is home. Yeah. Yeah. You see the little one is remaining on the home. But these other ones you harvested them, right? Yeah, and probably one plant to produce only one fruit. And you have only one season for it. So if you harvest the, the fruit from the plant, mm -hmm. the plant it will die, but it will produce another baby and then you will have a new fruit from the baby. Oh. Yes. Hold on over here. What are these? Ginger. Is it ginger? Yeah. Yeah. Is it ginger? Isn't it? It's not bamboo. Maybe small bamboo. Are you sure? Ginger. Of course, it's, it is ginger, and it grows from the root. I can show you take a scan it. It is eatable. Yeah. yeah. You may taste, but it's very strong. Mm -hmm. Give me another slice. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. ginger. It's too hot. Mm -hmm. And it probably grows from the roots and it just takes only six months. Then after yeah, six yeah. months, you have it. Leaves, yeah, we have it. How do we realize the plants the, the, the leaves are starting to dry and the plant fall down, then you dig them. Mm -hmm. This one is very good for the for the meat, fish. So if you want to plant it, how do you plant it? For for you one plant? plant? From, eh? Yeah, probably we take a small piece of root like this, put it on the ground, and then it grows up. Then it depends on the health, health of, of the plants. When the enough health, sometimes like uh, for the double plants, for two plants, you can get like a half kilo. Mm. Yes. And it's very good for the men as well, this one. Mm. Yeah, good for bunga bunga kachanga kachanga. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let me pretend I didn't understand that. <laughs> What are these now? I have no idea. You don't have any idea what it is? No. Are you serious? Hmm? This, this. Vanilla. You said vanilla. Maybe it's vanilla. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> not. Do you think vanilla grows like this? I have no idea. We can see the green beans over here. <laughs> but this one is vanilla. Yeah. Of course it is vanilla. It actually grows like this. These are still green now. We can see this are we can see this over here. See the others over here, but it probably 
when it's when it's green like this, it it means that it's still there. So when it's ripe, actually, it will get the, the the light the light yellow. Then we harvest it. After harvest, we draw it on the on the dark room. At the same time, we can just draw it on the shade. Many spice, if we harvest, we draw it in the sun. But in vanilla, we don't draw it in the sun. Because if you draw the vanilla on the sun, the smell and the taste will disappear. And apart from that, remember that vanilla is not a tree. Vanilla is running plants like this. It needs a supporter from, supporter from another tree to grow as well. So sometimes, without, without supporter, vanilla probably cannot grow. It can, it, 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 it can grow on the, on the, on the flow, mm -hmm. but it won't produce anything. And apart from that, if we talk about vanilla, and if we talk about the spice, we have a two spice which are very expensive around the world. The number one expensive spice is saffron, and the second one is vanilla. Have you heard about which reason does make vanilla to be more expensive? What's the reason? Can you imagine which reason then? Maybe it takes a long time to grow? All the process of getting you know, it. Uh -huh. But it probably the reason does make vanilla to be more expensive is pollination system. Do you know pollination? Mm -hmm. And if we talk about a pollination, we have a two kind of pollination actually. Mm -hmm. We have a natural pollination mm -hmm. and a manual pollination. The, na the natural pollination, this is the types of pollination which are done by insects, like bees, butterflies, and others. Probably the, 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 the natural is done by nature. Mm -hmm. And apart from the natural pollination, we have a manual pollination. The manual pollination, this is the kind of pollination which is done by human hands. Many trees, either we can say that those trees during on the season, the pollination is done by nature. The insects are done in pollination. But for the vanilla plant during on the season, there is not any insect who has the ability to pollinate a vanilla plant. It's only human hand. And how do we make a pollination? During on the season, first after the plant to produce the flower, what you have to do? You're supposed to find a sharp stick, the little one like this. After that, the next day, you're supposed to wake up early in the morning. After wake up early in the morning, what you're supposed to do? You should have to take a stick and then you're opening the flower. After opening the flower, inside of the flower, there are two stigma. There are male stigma and a female stigma. The male one stay top on the flower and the female one stay down on the flower. What you're supposed to do? You should have to use the stick to attaching them together. After attaching them together, vanilla it will grow. But if you forget to do that, the flower fall down and the vanilla beans fall down, you will never get vanilla beans. So about the, about the plant to grow, it, it will just grow. But to get a stick like this, you have to do the pollination. And one flower produces only one stick, and each stick needs a pollination. So if you've done the pollination for the 15 flower, you'll get a 15 beans. <laughs> yeah, that is why vanilla is expensive. So any questions so far? No Can you proceed on? Castor the apple. Mm -hmm. Castor the apple. Sour sort of poison. Mm -hmm. Very good for the, uh, I think, cancer. Yes. And if you carry inside on the side, then it has a white flesh with a small stage of black one. It's called the Kepok tree. Huh? It's Kepok. called the Kepok. So but now we're starting to climbing this tree one by one. Mm -hmm. I need to come on <laughs> Okay, so now we're starting to climbing this tree one by one. But you ladies, no, 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 <laughs> it's fast. <laughs> no, 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 all those ladies fast. I will be the last one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she will be the first and then I will be the last one. And probably make sure to put you the, the white stuff like this. Looks like a cotton. Yeah. 
cotton wool. Yeah, it looks like a cotton, but it is not cotton. What is this? The tree is very famous in Brazil. Mm. Called in Sufi in Sweden. Clothes and mattresses. Yeah. Oh, so soft. It is, a, it is unclaimable tree. Nobody can climb it. Yeah. So Nobody why, can climb it. How does it produce this? Probably, the yeah. Probably it produces the, the fruit looks like a cucumber. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's green for the outside. And, and inside it has this what material. Okay. okay. When it's ripe, actually, it's falling down itself. Nobody can climb in the tree like okay. this. But I can. Then <laughs> no. be sure. Nobody can. <laughs> Yes. So we have this tree, this fruit now. So, do you know what this one? I don't know the name, but I've seen it before. Have you heard about jack fruit? Jack. So this is how jack fruit it goes like this. And remember that this is the biggest fruit around the world. Jack yeah, the biggest, the number one biggest fruit around the world, and it grows like this. Many trees, it produce the fruit through the branches, but this one, according to the heavy it is, mm -hmm. they grow from the trunk like this. Mm -hmm. And actually, when it's ripe down itself, you have to climb in and harvest it. And how will, will you realize when it's ripe? Probably we have two ways to realize them. The first one by smelling, and the second one by taste, by, by sound. So if, if you do like this, this one is unripe one, it's not ripe. Okay. If you do like this, this one is unripe one. It's not ripe. Probably the ripe one become a hollow sound like a watermelon. Okay. Like a... Yeah, it's like that. Mm -hmm. And the ripe one actually if you cut inside, it has a two parties. They are a long heart which has a brown color. And a white fibers which are surrounded in white, uh, white, white flesh. And inside of the flesh there are white seeds. What we're supposed to eat, we just take the white flesh out and then we eat the flesh only. We don't eat the seed, we don't eat the fiber, we don't eat the heart. So if you eat the heart, you have a large heart, right? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the artist now, he made a thumbsing over here. What is the art gift? Mm -hmm. Bracelet. Okay. Uh, okay, ring. Let me take this one. Okay, the ring. Yeah. With the ring. This is so nice. Okay. Vish is Okay. 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 Wow. So, nice. so guys, I got this from the farm. Yay! Bristol yeah. plus you mean necklace? Oh, Star necklace. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Buy this in a um, jewelry store for like five thousand dollars. Well, I just got this for free from the farm. Okay. With the crown. Uh -uh. Which of my other accounts? Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. Wow. Moment. Moment. Okay, big boss, yeah? Yeah, yeah the tie. The tie? Yeah. Uh, 
bana kidogo bana tena kidogo isso chuka chini hapo hapo hivi so we have the spice king and queen yeah we have the spice king and queen stand now yes stop But there I have that tree. Later on, the small one. You can see that one, it can see another one over there. The tree, it's called the cloth. I don't think you hear this one. But unfortunately, now it's not the season. Yeah. But it actually, if we're talking about a cloth, it means that we're talking about Zanzibar. This is the sign of Zanzibar. This is the what? The sign of Zanzibar. Fine. Zanzibar is known as the spice island because of this. We produce this one a lot. It's the number one spice that we produce a lot in Zanzibar head. But actually, according the according the situation, it is remember that Zanzibar is the island which which depend much in the with the spice and in the tourism as well. That's why now it becomes the second economy of Zanzibar. Spice, yeah, yeah, the cloth. Yeah, the number one is tourism and the second is this one. Mm -hmm. That's why it's not allowed this one for the citizen to export it outside of the country. So if you have this, you're supposed to sell it on the government shop. After that, the government, they can export outside of the country. Yeah, this yeah. one? Yeah, the cloth. Yeah, but some people, they do it by smuggler. They can just, they, they harvest it and then they, they sell it to the neighbor country, like in Kenya and others. Mm -hmm. But it's very real case because when the government cuts, you have to be on a prison. Wow. Yes. This thing? The cloth. No, no, this one. Easy. This one. This one. Okay. This one. Oh, you can see another tree over there. And it's much needed in medicine company. Yeah. Yeah. Good for the for the toothache as well. Yeah. yeah. Good for so many things. Yes. Yeah. Use it to Stomach. make oil for the hair. Yeah. Use the water to steam for the hair. Mm -hmm. It grows your hair faster. Mm -hmm. Of course. And uh, clove oil. Stomach also. Even sometimes, if you're having an antibacterial anti live on your skin, if you use the cloth oil, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Good for the, for, the, for, the, for the stomach cake as well. How do you use that? Like, is it the water or the uh, Probably, if you have the dried one, you can just, you can just take the dried one you and then the it, you can just... Yes, you can see, 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 see the, the black one. You take yeah. that one and then you put on the on the water. And then you can live like it like for the seven hours. And then after that, you can take it and then you can use the water. And at some time you can check the, 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 the pressure of the dark you can boil. After boil it and then you can use for the toothache. You can just take the water and then you can do like a Google. Yep. And then it very many every rich people from there. Over there. So. Over here we have this flower. The flower is from this tree over here, the big one. If you have a strong eyes like mine, you can see the yellow flower over there on the branches. Yeah. Yellow. The tree is called the Ilangilang tree. It's originated from Madagascar. Probably the, Ilang, the tree it produced this flower, which is called the Ilangilang -ilang flower. And it's been used for cooking. That one we used for cooking. Hey! 